Are you back to work? How I am was back your to work. break? It was good. It was I hope. terrific. I cleaned up. I got lots of good gifts. I oh, got, you did. I got a Dyson V10, which is like the new Dyson V10. Oh, the vac is that a vacuum cleaner? It's half vacuum, half broom. It's incredible. It's a game changer. They make a lot of good things, yeah. don't they? Yeah, it's not the V8. The V10 is a game changer. I have the Dyson thing in my home that you yeah. put your hands in to dry them. Oh, I don't like that. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Can I, I tell you something? My wife doesn't like it either. Yeah, it's, and it's she not bought sanitary. It for me. I'm not into that. No, it is very sanitary. Mm -hmm. But you have to hold your hands perfectly still. Again, that's not a. That's not great. Oh. I got a power washer. Oh, that's good. Yeah, my husband knows knows me well. Oh, that's what you got as Those your gift are my Christmas from gifts. your husband. Yeah, I, I mean, I did some heavy hinting, but yeah. Now, I have a power washer, and it I is am my among washer. my favorite things in the world. I used it all morning. What did you in use the it car on? I was in the carport getting the paint up off the, nice. well, off the cement. But here's the problem I'm going to tell you, yes. because I'm a long-time power washer. How many washer PSIs owner. do you have? Uh, all of them. <laughs> Let me tell you, mine says don't. To use this with your shoes off because you'll cut off a toe with it. Yeah, yeah, it's really dangerous. You have and a yet, safety lever and everything. Guess what? Shoes off. Wow. Because that's just how I live. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but Mine I do. Mine is really terrific. I'm the problem it. is they're so good. It's incredible. That once you clean things, there's nothing left to clean. Oh, I have a lot left to clean. Do I just you? got mine. It's a week old. I did my whole brick staircase. Yeah, and I'm then excited. I swear to God, because it looks so clean and yeah. so beautiful. Yeah. I didn't do this, but I was tempted to go next door to my neighbor's house to ask if I could do their house. I understand now. that completely. Someone backstage was like, you can come to my house. I was like, don't dare, don't dare me. I yeah. will come right over with it. That thing will take the paint right off I your car. I have 2,030 PSIs, five onboard nozzles. I have two other attachments. I am very into it. Five onboard nozzles. Yeah. I love it. I love it. It's a sexy piece of kit. You like practical gifts in general? I love a practical gift. I'm pretty, I mean, when we first got together, Michael, it's so sweet. He was always like, well, you should have, you know, for a while he was saying, you should have an elegant watch. Like, you know, let me get you a beautiful watch. And I was like, oh, I don't wear a watch. That doesn't interest what you. What a waste of money. And, you know, I just, it wouldn't mean anything to me. And then finally one day we were walking and I thought, it seems to mean something to him. And I was like, all right, honey, maybe if I got like an antique Rolodex. A Rolodex is, yeah, I know. Is, yeah, it's... And so he was like, yeah, let's skip it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So now we're into power watches. But a Rolodex also isn't a watch. It's a thing that holds your I know, phone numbers. I you know, know that. That's oh. how sad I, that's how <laughs> ill-equipped I am for luxury gifts. You walking around with a whole it? file of people's names on your wrist? He actually wrist? ultimately did get me an antique Rolodex, but and put it in a put it in a Rolodex box. I see. Wrapped it in that. I it's see. Oh, okay, I got it. All right. I thought you made a mistake, but it turns no, out I you're didn't. just smarter than I am. You, no. um, you. I did make a mistake, but way back. How many children are you? Told me you have a lot of kids in and family oh. members, right? I'm I'm from an enormous Irish right. family. I mean, all my aunts have twelve kids, eleven kids, ten kids. I only have three daughters. But when they, my aunts look at me, or my whole family when they look at me, they're always like, oh. you know. <laughs> Like you've somehow failed? Like I'm failed. barren. Uh, like I'm barren. <laughs> yeah. They really do. There's like pity, pity in the eyes. But and they love three seems like a lot to three me. Three is plenty. Three yeah. is a lot two, of Two too many, some could argue. <laughs> Which one is giving you trouble? Well, uh, the middle one's a lot. The middle she one, yeah. She's a lot. She tells me about after parties all the time. And How yeah. old is she? Ten. At weddings, she'll be what? like, everyone's going to room 308. I'm like, you're not. <laughs> you're not going there. <laughs> She's a piece of work. She Thank knows God the about after sweet. parties yeah. already. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah, I know. We're in for it. On the show, you've got a huge... Eight, eight... sons. Yeah. Yes, and I play Peggy Cleary. I'm the mom, like, traditional Irish Catholic mom in the early 70s in a three-bedroom, one-bathroom house with eight boys. With so it's, eight boys. She's very practical. She's very... She irons old um, tinfoil. Uh -huh. Like, one of her sons comes to her and says he has asthma, and I'm like, it's just small. Go outside and play. Because that's how... You can't afford asthma. That's how it was. That's yeah, really... you didn't have asthma. No. I, you barely had glasses. What kind of luxury is that? That's yeah. like owning a Rolodex. <laughs> no, so you yeah. do see parallels to your own I actual I do. I mean, I grew up walking. You know, I sound like every old person ever, but I grew up walking to school a mile, age six, mm -hmm. over railroad tracks, in all kinds of weather. I really? mean, now, yeah. And I, you know, I babysat. I remember I babysat for a dollar an hour. Uh-huh. Giving away my age. A dollar an hour, and I babysat 
you know, at age eight and nine, by 10, I was babysitting a kid in a pool who had severe disabilities. And what, in the yeah, pool? Yeah, in a pool. Like, what is that? There's just millions of things wrong with that. Yeah. There's nothing right about that. We didn't have car seats. We didn't no, have seat, seat belts. No, seat belts. This was, your mom did this, remember? Oh, yeah, my mother would do yeah, that. Yeah, you were like, oh, ow. She, she just... I'd rather have the accident. <laughs> that hurts. She would give you the straight yeah. arm. No, that... kids are weak now. It's all seat belts, tutors, play dates. Child labor laws, it's bad. Yeah. They're what? They're like wussies. Oh, yeah, you probably have that on the show with all the kids on the show. We do you have, have that, to have yeah. all those, like, yeah, that's those in teachers place now. and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. Are those teachers on set really teaching the children anything? I don't anything? know. I don't go back there. Who you knows don't go, what they're You don't know what's happening. I got my own problem. What's it like working with eight boys? Yeah, it's great. I mean, I love, they're all so sweet. I mean, so far, I'm sure one will turn out to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the odds are. Right. And I've got, you know, like, I hope we stay on air for a lot of years. But if we do, there's going to be some puberty happening. Oh, yeah, there is going to be. It's going to get tricky, right? Yeah, well. I mean, I wouldn't want my puberty televised. <laughs> no, I feel bad for would. those guys. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. And also, boys have, you know, there's a, there's more smells. <laughs> Is this a smelly group of boys? No, no, no. they're sweet and young, uh -huh. and but you know, boys. Yeah. Boys are. I remember I went to see my sister has three sons, and I went to see her, and uh, it, it was before I had kids, and I was helping. I was doing the laundry, and she found me, and she was like, "Stop, stop! Don't touch the laundry!" And I was like, "Why? Well, I'm just trying to help." And she was like, "You won't love them. Please put it down. Just don't." Really? Touch. She said, "I taught them how to do the laundry. Do not touch it." <laughs> And I was like, oh, no questions. No, no. <laughs> so boys are filthier than girls is what we've learned here. Yeah. I think so, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, well, congratulations Thanks. on the show. It's Thanks. a lot of fun. And the show, it's called, if you haven't seen it, it's called The Kids Are All Right. It airs Tuesday night at 8.30 here on ABC. Mary McCormick, Thank everybody. You. Thank you, Mary. Congratulations on making it to the end of the YouTube video. Why not celebrate by clicking the subscribe button? You earned it.